Thanks, folks. Thanks. Okay, all right, really that is too much. We are on the topic of gun control. For full disclosure here, I'll mention that I'm a former Marine. Before you conjure up a bias on my opinions, I was more of a Gomer Pyle Marine. If you don't get the reference, Google it. <laughs> to box me in a bit, you should know I like the First Amendment, but I hate seeing people personally owning automatic weapons, extra long range weapons, the crazy capacity clips, armor piercing ammo, or projectile explosives. I also think that if you don't have a serious and documented reason to protect yourself with a concealed weapon, then you are an asshole to get that permit, or to carry a concealed weapon. And if you don't need self-protection, and don't hunt for food to feed your family, then you're an idiot to have firearms. You could have spent your money better than what you blew it on. It's like buying spare diamonds. They're expensive, they have little use in the world, but they are pretty to show off to people that like those things. So back to the candidates. Obama made it clear that he didn't intend to restrict the rights of gun owners. That won't matter because the NRA will tell its members the opposite and they will believe it. Obama also stated what I just said about reasonable guns are fine, but military grade should be restricted. Face it, the writers of the Second Amendment respected their ability to fight off England, but they didn't foresee the ability to gun down hundreds of innocent people in less than a minute. Most importantly, Obama touched on the idea that restricting guns is not the answer, but finding the mentally deranged people, and making sure they don't get to own weapons is an answer. If you are a gun owner, and you think you can't be bothered to take a psych evaluation before buying a gun, then you're a selfish, antisocial, asshole that isn't fit to own the gun you have. It is well known that the majority of mass murders are committed by people who lawfully obtained a weapon. I'd vote for Obama just to get the psycho test into law. Then there's Romney. He started out okay, but he was talking out both sides of his mouth. If he's not for new laws to further restrict ownership, and there are legal loopholes to obtain automatic weapons, then how's he going to be against people obtaining automatic weapons? Then Romney hit the button on the trap door he was standing on. Single moms are the problem? Seriously? Sorry, I'll be fair, let me quote him. But gosh, to tell our kids that before they have babies, they ought to think about getting married to someone, end quote. Did he forget they were talking about AK-47s? I know plenty of single moms, and I don't know one whose kids own automatic weapons. The weird part about Romney's statements is they are true. There's a well-known relationship between poverty and crime. It's also a well-known that there's a relationship between the ratio of parents to kids and wealth to poverty. Thus more parents equals less crime. The troubling part is he thought it was significant to bring it up. It's a cause for petty crimes like pot possession or petty larceny not mass murder. What kind of a person would think it's appropriate to bring up when they were discussing military grade weapons in the hands of the public, of whom, some are crazy mass murderers? Poverty does not cause random acts of violence. Romney wouldn't put that together as a mismatch, because neither he, nor his bubble of friends, are commoners living in the unguarded public where we need, to worry about random acts of violence. I'm not even going to talk about how he went on a rant about the fast and furious failure. There is so much disinformation going around about that, 
and it's an ongoing investigation. That doesn't stop political hacks from making up any lies they feel like to get a story. Okay, we're done on this one. Moving on. <laughs>